So right then, you know it was me. Welcome to another episode where we reveal more secrets of Halloween. This is part two of the Holidays from Hell episodes, a segment of the Dunya Deception series. And it's another one about Halloween. During this time of year, crime and chaos increase around the world. Something happens to people around the globe. Some go a bit crazy. And it's not just out there. It may have crept into your home and you don't even realize it. Have you noticed an increase of fighting in your household recently and you don't even understand what you're fighting about half the time? Like fighting has just gone overboard. Quarreling about anything and everything? Well, if this has been going on inside your home, watch this video to find out what exactly is going on. Ex-Satanists let us in on a little secret. They say that the devil Iblis, who is the head of the jinn and Jinni himself, releases his servants. The strongest of them are called the Ifrit. The devil's loyal soldiers, like his first officers and the devil is the captain. Each Ifrit has its own loyal soldiers of jinn, and each Ifrit has an area of the planet that it's in charge of. For example, there is an Ifrit in charge of Times Square in New York. And its job is to come up with these ideas to create discourse out on the streets and inside as many households as possible, especially between husband and wife. Every day the jinn have to report back to Iblis and there is an authentic hadith, the sayings of the Prophet that says that the jinn take turns saying what they did that day, whose lives they destroyed. A jinn would say, I did this and this and this, and Iblis would reply that you have done nothing. And then a jinn would say, I did not leave this man alone until I separated him from his wife. And the devil would embrace this jinn. Because to divide a husband and wife is to divide a family. And to divide a family is to divide a community. And to divide a community is to divide the nation of the Prophet, peace be upon him. And to divide the nation of the Prophet is to divide the whole of mankind. It all starts at home. On Halloween, ex-Satanists say that the evil works of the jinn increases. The jinn go all out. It's an all-out riot, and they get as many people to go crazy as much as they can. If a home isn't protected, then people in that household are literally inviting these jinn inside, unknowingly of course. Putting up Halloween decorations is basically saying, come inside you are welcome. Watching a scary movie is definitely saying, please, please do come in, we like getting scared, come scare us, come destroy us. Watching anything filthy, things that one should not be watching, this welcomes the worst kind of gin into your homes. This kind of household will be affected more than any other. Any kind of addiction, be it alcohol, drugs, or filthy movies. Where these kind of individuals live, bad things follow. The spiritual attack is worse for them, especially during the holiday periods. If this is happening to you and you can't explain the fights, and there's been an increase around the time of Halloween, your household is under attack from the other dimension. This may sound scary, but it's really not if you have faith. They can't touch you if you have faith. The best way to defeat them is to establish your five daily prayers. Because establishing these prayers builds a strong relationship with Allah. Know that Allah is watching. As soon as you make a dua, just any dua for Allah to help, He will send His angels immediately. And His angels are stronger than the jinn. Allah's angels are warriors and they cannot be defeated.
Ex-Satan has claimed that he once sent a jinn to a Christian woman's house to destroy her. The jinn couldn't touch her. The ex-Satan has claimed that she was being protected by God. And this is a Christian lady. Allah helps whomever he pleases. Allah does whatever he wants. But just think, if Allah helped this devout Christian lady, what kind of shield would Allah put up for a Muslim calling out to him? So call on him as soon as you see the signs. Stay vigilant, don't get tricked. Even if you are staying inside this Halloween, Halloween can still enter your home. Halloween is on its way. Are you going to invite it in?